Every player dreams of becoming world champion, and that dream is about to be a reality. Hello, we're going to switch on. My name's Paul, and today we're going to be starting a new series on Snooker 19 on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be running through a career mode, which is something I've wanted to do ever since I learned about this game way back in, well, the start of the year really, but March, April time when it was released, and I played some EGX Res. Kind of had an idea that I'd like to play a career mode for you. A few people have done it on other consoles, but I don't think anyone's done it on the Switch yet. So hopefully we can um, showcase some of the Switch gameplay. So I'm going to start a career. I'm going to go with the Pro Seasons. I'm not going to be one of the top, top players. And no offence to, uh, to the player I pick, but I'm going to be Stephen Maguire. He's got kind of that miserable chubby face that reminds me so much of myself. Um, so we're going to take a, a slightly lower ranked player and see if we can get them up to the top of the rankings. So we're going to go medium difficulty, but I'm going to go on the amateur aiming aid because I'm very much an amateur. And let's get into this season. So here we are, ranked 16th. And we've got a couple of qualifiers before we get into the start of the season for real. As you see there, rank 16th. We're going to try and earn as many points and as much money as we can. So first tournament of the season of the career for this year with Steve Maguire and it's the Kapersky Riga Masters. And we're taking on ranked 127th Stephen Halworth. Now there's 128 players in the game, so it gives you kind of an idea of Halworth's ability. And hopefully we should uh, get through this qualifying match and get into the Kapersky Riga Masters tournament for real. The players are ready. It's time to start the qualifiers for the Riga Masters. So, best of three frames. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame. There's the two players, Maguire in his white shirt, not his blue shirt. And it's a half to break. Moves the white to the opposite side of the brown. And that's not a bad start, but it does leave us a red on. So that's, uh, that's had in the blacks in a fairly decent position. So a good chance here right from the get go. Just want to uh, He's not smash this one. I want to just drop this in and roll onto the black. And that's a really good start. Nice opening red. So good oh. chance here right from the get go. If we can, uh, if we can play our colors right. Should be able to just rebound off here and be on a red. Yeah, and that's nice. So already this is a pretty decent start for Maguire. Assuming that red sneaks past the black, which I think it does. Just again, really just want to roll through and be on the black. Good shot. Nice position on the black. Nine. Okay, run for a one four seven now. Stick around. I'm joking. Be lucky if we get forty seven. Right again, just looking to come round onto the red. Plenty of options. We should be fine no matter where we land up in that area. Sixteen. And again, that's not too bad at all. Could be a little bit tight here if we, uh, if we don't play our cards right. So just a little bit of stun on this to make sure that we get up and off the cushion and onto the black. It needs to run a little bit more. Oh, it's not ideal. Still potable, but um, it's going to leave us fighting for position a little bit. Just play a little bit more of a gentler shot, and then there is a couple of reds on there. Now that's a bonus. Yes, it was a tricky shot. wasn't a great position. Stephen Maguire, seventeen. Well, seventeen's not terrible. And Howarth doesn't really attempt anything there. And Maguire is a pretty aggressive player, so we're going to try 
see if we can smash it's into really the hot. pink and get a spread of reds going. That wasn't a, exactly what was intended. Didn't really get the break. So we're left not really on a colour. So what we will do is try and dump the white behind the colours here by using the blue. The success of this shot is reliant on perfect pace. Maybe a touch too much. Yeah, that wasn't ideal, was it? We've come right back through. Thankfully, I don't think there's anything on. But, uh, yeah, not a tricky shot there for, for Stephen. He'll just play it safe. Crowd like that one. Why not? It's only left me with one real red to take on. But it shouldn't be too difficult to... to get up and down, back into bulk on this. As long as we miss everything. I mean, that's gonna be safe. Again, it's not a perfect shot. Still a decent safety. It's right up against the blue and there's nothing potable on. So decent safety shot. And Steven will just play a very similar shot. But this time he's left us on a long red, which again, we consider taking on. Plenty of stun on this one. He's tempted by this red. Uh, needed to be what better queuing, but we get away with it. It's the beauty of the amateur aid in aid. You've got to hit the sweet spot on the left hand side on that power bar can be so tricky. It's for me anyway, with my reflexes. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? So I'm grateful of that extra leeway with the amateur aiming bar. He'll be fuming about that. Oh, that's not a good shot either. That's left us in all sorts of trouble, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, Stephen Maguire will not be happy with that. I think we'll just roll into the pack. Let Howworth figure it out. Not really left anything on now. Be interesting to see if he just takes another safety. Oh, he went for the pot and gets it. Good Close. shot. One. So a chance here for Howworth if he can squeeze through to that black. Let's have a look in normal motion. Yes, he can. So a great chance here for Howworth to, to get a big score on the board. Eight. Nine. Just play this on fast forward. 16. I want to endeavour to show as much of the match as possible. Probably won't edit out too much. If there's a particularly long safety battle, then I may skip through it, but um, I want to show off as much gameplay on the Switch as possible. While waiting for Steven to take a shot, if you haven't seen my review of Snooker 19 that I posted the other day, then now uh, click the the links in the description. 20. I'll also be dropping the card in the top corner at some point. But it's a good little break here. Steven's gone three reds, three blacks, 24 at the moment. That's another red. 25. He's really got a good chance here to put some points on the table. Goes for the pink. 31. Another good shot. And that's, he, he did good to move the uh, the red and get himself onto the black. Would you believe oh, it? Oh, and he's jawed it. That's unfortunate. He was on for a big Still score. And that is the advantage again of playing these lower ranked players. Is you do get a chance, and we have got a chance. And we've seen there that Stephen, even though he's ranked 127th, can still post a decent score. He's taking it on. So we're going to try and drop this red into the centre pocket and leave Excellent ourselves pocket. on the black. One. That's going to be tight. Pink should go fine. And we can just... Stun and leave ourselves on He's aiming to sink this one of those right reds. Corner. It's not a great shot. Wow, he'll be thrilled with that. Seven. Probably take this red into the bottom corner and again try and come up for the black if we can. 
can get enough power on it. Again, just going to be short for the black. Could take it on, but you know it's going to leave us Eight. having to go around the table. The pink's fine. We're in a decent position score-wise. Plenty of points left on the table. We don't need to go crazy at this point. He's attempting to sink this into the He's left try and pocket. Run into those reds and break them away. Decent enough shot. We'll take that. What a top pot that was. Great Leaves us on with a red. 14. And a bit more power this time because we do want to be. Oh, I'm not happy about that. We do want to be left on that black this time, so let's really give it some welly. Where's the white going? Oh, uh, lucky or an unlucky bounce, depending on uh, whether you're a half glass four or a half glass empty guy. But this should leave us on the black and in a position to run through for that red. Tremendous spot. Run, 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 oh, run. Wonderful Perfect. Job. Okay, we're in a great position now to take this first frame. Just maybe want to come off the cushion a little bit for that. We're going to leave ourselves short there. Um, yeah, come off the cushion for the black. He's finished a bit awkward here. That is, as the commentator says, awkward. So we're going to have to try and roll the pink in, which should be okay. But then we need to get up and down. It's going to have to be some shot. I don't like playing these it on. with power into the side pockets oh we get an unlucky Lost bounce off the there. yellow well that's a shame it was on it would have probably come back in a decent enough position but unfortunately it hasn't so we're just going to run into that red he really doesn't want to under hit this shot let's hope yeah perfect so left that pretty safe. Decent break. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine break. Very careful with the pace here. He's played that very well. Great shot there from Stephen. He's left us tucked up right behind the green. Really good shot. We're going to struggle to uh, to come off that. We're going to have to swerve it a little bit. And there is potential here to pot this, which would be a result. Do you see the swerve there? I'm going to lose the white here. It could leave an opportunity. Well, the fact we hit it was good enough. Is it going to roll in the opposite pocket? It may do. It does. We'll take that. He's fortunate there. One. Hand up. A virtual tap on the table for Stephen Howarth. That isn't exactly what we planned, although we were planning to pot it. So we want to come around the table a little bit here required. to get on the yellow. We need a bit more power than that. Oh, that wasn't a good shot. Would have been decent enough position on the yellow. Stephen Maguire, one. So, Stephen now finds himself, Stephen Hulworth finds himself 24 points behind with 27 on the table. So, yellow and green ideally needed. and put the uh, white up into a safe area and fouls miserably and pots the white in the oh, process so Stephen there's Stephen's play. penalty One point back and he's, and he's now in with a great chance of taking the frame Ew, he could have potted that yellow should have done really 
leaves it reasonably safe. The double's on, but I don't think we'll be taking that on. It was a very poor shot, that last one played. Really was. All right, trying something similar here again. Get the yellow down the table. Get the white safe, and that's slightly better. Oh, that's a good shot. shot. Lovely that's snooker. Really good safety. So, Stephen Holworth, 20 behind with 27 on the table, obviously, just the colours. Really uh, and round. he's nudged the pink, and that could be the end of the oh, frame. Yes. Six points away. Going to force him to retake that, because he's not going to uh, pot it, and he's obviously struggling to see that yellow. Foul. And again, and clips the pink. It. You find this with the AI, if, if they can't pot a shot, or if they can't reach a shot. So, after the foul... They do? do struggle to hit it again. We'll play on from now. On from this position. That's pretty safe. The frame, I think, is uh, is very much one. Just. You'll want this to drop into the centre pocket. Drop this yellow in. Should be on the green quite nicely. Yeah, that's the frame really. Two. If it wasn't guaranteed before, it certainly is now. Nice shot on the green. Leaves us on the brown. Run a little bit further than we'd uh, we'd hoped. It's going to be a pretty fine shot to get it in there. We just don't want to make a mistake, really, because um, this is a half chance. The frame is one. This is just a shot to nothing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So the first frame, pretty comfortably taken. I expect Stephen Hullworth to Stephen concede that frame. Frame conceded. Frame. Indeed, he does. That is the frame. So a one-frame advantage. He'll be looking to build more pressure on his opponent in this frame. Thank you. The second frame, Stephen Maguire to break. So we did kind of labour to the first frame. There was started off okay, but struggled with a few shots towards the end. But uh, we put that down to early career rust or. Early season rust. And we'll take on the uh, the second frame here in a bit more of a positive mind. As Maguire breaks off. Not too bad. Shouldn't leave anything on. as a tricky long red, but um, I'll be surprised if Halworth takes that on. Just looks to play it safe. There's nothing on here, so we'll just park ourselves up on the top cushion. You may notice I sort of flick around with the controls here. It's, um, I think I mentioned it in my review. The controls on the switch are a little bit sensitive to control. Break the pack up, but hopefully it should sit somewhere around the colours. Well, that's not brilliant, but... Um, Hopefully a bit of a tricky queuing position for Stephen, who just, again, plays a safety. And leaves the white in quite a safe position. Not sure what we want to do here. We probably will just come up and down again, keep this cagey start going that uh, both players have kicked off with. Yeah, I'm going to come off at a little bit more of an angle then. How important pace is for this shot? Hopefully try and... Oh, it's going to be a tough one. Well, that's left a chance on. Wasn't a good shot. Still getting uh, our eye in on this yeah, career yeah, mode. Shot, but he could have played it better. Aiming for the centre pocket here. Yeah, and that's an easy start for Stephen. One. Tricky pop, no doubt. And he didn't really leave himself on a colour. It was more of a shot to nothing on that red. So he had to take the brown on. Probably Stephen would have been one. 
better plan out a little bit safer. And then just want to drop this red in. And we should be at the races. That's not a good result. Oh, dearie me. Well, that is awful. Sitting here shaking my head. Complacency set in a little bit there. Just looking at the black before we potted the red. Man, how we should punish that and then some. There's a quite a nice layout of reds, so expect a decent sized break here from Stephen Halworth. Eight. Black's gonna go on the pink spot. It's gonna make things a little bit tricky to get too much of a big break, but the pink's in a decent position. Goes for the blue, goes up and down. It's kind of left himself with a tricky red, which he does take on. And that was a good shot. Stephen. And a roll up behind the green is a good option. So, decent break for Stephen. And I think we will just try to roll into the pack off of the cushion here. He'll be aware how important pace is for this shot. Oh, it's far too high and far too hard. Well... That's not a good result. It was a very tough shot, though. Game of bad angles. Stephen Hall with six. Really failing here, so let's come off at a bit of a shallower. He'll be aware of the risks angle. associated with playing this with too much pace. Looks better, and that is a better shot, and that probably doesn't leave anything on for Stephen Hall. He could have played it better. And he's got that red to the corner pocket, and he's gone for it. Gets it, good shot. And again, decent spread of colours, so Seven. could be in for a reasonably decent break here. And we're in trouble, I would say, in this second frame. Not had any sort of decent form in this frame at all. Been Eight. terrible, really. Thirteen. There's not much on, though. He's going to have to smash the pack. Stephen Hall with 13. Well... Now the uh, now the pack is open. Again, the question remains: choice of colour. So we're going to want to try and sneak out around the back, and he's going for it. Hopefully get on the pink. That's the plan. And he's missed it. Oh, missed another red. Well. Sooner or later, Stephen Holworth's going to take one of these chances that we've gifted him and put in a decent break and take the frame. I mean, the frame's all... all one. The frame is in a perilous position right now. Seven. Eight. Stephen Maguire's going to really have to wake himself up. Fifteen. Sixteen. This could be in the frame here. Look at the spread of the reds. He's just got to take his time, Stephen Halworth. Stephen Halworth, 16. A curse of the commentator as he misses an easy black and puts us in again for another chance. But again, nothing really on. We don't really want to come that side of the, the reds, although... Probably looks the safest option, to be fair. I 
Okay. Let's try and get something safe up on the bolt cushion. Should be okay. Especially considering the uh, position that Stephen Holworth's in. He doesn't need to take any big risks. But what he has done is caused himself a few problems with that there because we've now got a multitude of reds to take on. And we've got to get our game into gear and it's got to start pretty soon. Finally off the mark. One. We'll take that pink. Come off the cushion now for that red near the pink spot. Gonna need a bit of side. Should be safe. Seven. Wasn't exactly the shot we were looking for, but it do the job. Now then, what do we want to do here? We could... If we come off the cushion now, the aim this time is to get down to the black. Oh, didn't cue that very well. Should be okay. Have finished a little better. Eight. Yeah, that's a little bit of a tight cut, but that should still go. Aim towards the bottom of the pocket. So Roll it in. Should be okay. Right corner. Should no be fine. There. Okay, settled now. We're kind of feeling like we're back in the frame. From what was a pretty much a disastrous start. Some terrible shot selection and pacing, but we feel like we're, uh, say, back in the races now. He's aiming for the left corner here. Want to get off the cushion onto the black again. Something a little bit like that. And that'll do. Don't want to be too straight on the black because we won't get any movement for the white ball. Now again, if we want to pop off the cushion here and uh, maybe drift up just past the pink so we can get the uh, red into the right side pocket. That's the plan. Again, struggling a little bit with the... Uh, Switch controls. Well, gone a little bit too hard there, but it doesn't matter. We're still in an area 20. where we've got reds on, so that's not a disaster by any means. Just want to roll this one down again off the cushion for the black, about 25% power. Just want to make sure we pop the actual ball, which we do. Pretty much perfect because we should have an angle now to come off and get that red on the side cushion. Play the right shot. Yeah, not convinced the amount of power we had in that. Should be able to drop that in from there. It's a tricky shot. Really, really want to gently, gently roll this in. Just wants this pot to drop into the pocket. Lovely. That'll do perfectly. That's so we're on the pink. Pot. Should be able to run through for the red. 32. But where are we gonna what are we gonna do with it once we've uh, once we've potted it? That's the thing. I think we might go a little bit hard on this, see if we can Come around the back, really. Something a little bit like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tricky shot. For sure. Might take the yellow as an option. 
Well, I've got this brake going. Come back off the cushion and see if we can roll the red. Apologies for this taking Thanks a little while to set right up, here. but here we go. It's kind of the shot we was looking for. Real life, that left us a bit of a tricky queuing position over the top of the yellow, but here we should be okay. Again, just looking to roll this one in. This red on. No, oh, Jordan. Well, that's a shame. It's looking good. Decent break, but it certainly put us back in the frame. But my fear is now, has that opened it up for Stephen Harworth Ten. to take the frame? Thirteen. That's a good shot to get across to the brown. Stephen Harworth. Not a great shot 30. with it. So 30 behind, 22 remaining. We do need snookers. And it's whether it's worth... Trying to get them, that's the thing. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Well, given that, we'll concede the frame from now. Frame conceded. Just frame never felt like we was in that at all. And that is the frame. Well played. The final frame of the match and plenty at stake here. So Stephen Holworth to break off in this final frame and let's hope we can uh, put something together that just wasn't there in that second frame. It's an awful play really, so really need to dig down and focus. And we've been left on kind of similar to the first frame situation. We've got a, a longish pot on here. Certainly potable. He's playing the pot here. Black's in a decent position, so Potential for a good start. Excellent opening red. One. So that feels a bit more positive. This is almost identical to the first frame, actually. We kind of had this this shot in mind. We'll come back round to one of the reds. Just above the black. Eight. Oh my goodness, this controls on the switch are so sensitive, it's really annoying. I don't feel like I had this problem on the uh, Xbox. I don't know if there's any settings here that I can, uh, that I can change either. But anyway. Not that red in, and we're on a black. Nice so again, we should be Nine. okay here to a degree. Just want to pop back up, really. So that's the frame if I actually will. Uh... Hmm. Put a little bit of side on it, see if we can come off. Well, he's looked at a number of options here. The balls haven't really changed, but the more you look, the harder it gets. It's a better shot. That brings us up above the black. 16. Take that. We can just pot through on this red. Get onto the black. It's a fairly simple shot. Run through. I don't finish too low on the black there. Feels a little bit straight, but we've got an angle. We should be okay. Again, just to come through. Be left on one of those reds. He's finished a bit awkward here. 24.
again, similar shot, but just run through on this red. A little kiss off the pack there wasn't uh, wasn't ideal, but has given us an angle. Looking to play this softly. Well, no. he's left half a chance. Well, Maguire, 25. Lack of pace in that shot. Safety of Howarth. I mean, that, uh, the corner pocket is now completely and utterly blocked off by the black. Try and get the, the white up here. Kiss off the brown actually helps. Hit there a bit too much pace. See how much pace is important in uh, in snooker. Well, Stephen's missed everything now, so that'd be a foul on four points. A few chuckles from the crowd is a bit harsh. Foul and a miss. Stephen Maguire, four. Well, the ball's in his court, so to speak. Let's see what he decides to do here. We'll play on from now because um, should be in quite won't make this any easier. a decent position if we can pot this. He's played that very well with the rest. I'm not going to be able to get to the black though, one. but it doesn't feel like there's anything really on here, so we're probably just going to. Probably just going to use the blue actually just to get into that yellow, get behind the yellow ball. Bit of a safety. Well, he's that's a, a good shot. There. Not what he was intending. It's exactly what I was intending. Thank you very much, what? Mr. Commentator. Oh, that's a decent safety from Stephen. That's an excellent shot. He's playing the we'll safety just... and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. Should be wanting to... Oh, we didn't really want to clip that red. We wanted to come around the back of it, and that's left the chance. A good chance. So red over the pocket, black over the pocket, a nice spread of reds. He'll be disappointed with that. Let's see what this Stephen does. With this one, eight, nine. Odd choice for a shot, but it's uh, guess it's worked out. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, I think in this game does take much longer than it does on the Xbox. I mean, you know, within reason, it's a more powerful console, the Xbox. So just a bit of a shame. Hopefully there, there might be something they can do to tighten that up or speed it up. Stephen Hallworth. Different kind of shot from Stephen Hallworth there. Plays it safe. Kind of leaves us. I think I might take a punt on this long red. Well, he's taking the red on. Yeah, good shot. Where's the white going? Oof. One. Well. Not exactly what we're planning. It's kind of another long shot on here. It's a straight enough shot onto the onto the green. 
Again, if we hit it with enough power, we should be able to get back down. That's an absolutely outstanding pot. For the reds. Just look at that for a positional shot. Get that red into the middle. Actually, we'll probably take the red into the corner pocket now we've come down a bit further. We'll just run through if we can. Just about get it in. Five. Well, feels like we're in a bit of a decent position again. We can get our pots in. Twelve. The blue's way out of position. Maybe a bit too much. It's going to leave us in problems. Okay, we can take the green on. That's fine. There's not much else on after this green, considering the position we've left ourselves in. So what we may do is just decide again, just to settle in. Well, it goes half a chance behind the yellow. Could have done a bit more power, but you kind of get the idea. Those two reds are well covered. You can see one of the the loose reds there. Oh, what a pot! Not the ideal well, result, but it could have been worse. Well, left it open. What a great shot! Very tight cut. Probably a little bit unrealistic. And that's not a great shot either. So Stephen Hall with one. We'll take full advantage of that, or we'll try to. He's tempted by this red. And yes, good shot. There. Half a chance, and he's grabbed it with both hands. Excellent positional play there. Inch perfect. Take this black on as well. And we should be good enough to get onto that red. Need to do a little bit of movement on the white ball here because the yellow is covered, so we're going to have to come around the other side of the yellow because I don't think that's going to go past the brown ball. So this is going to be a fairly tricky shot. Let's see what we can do. This red required. As a commentator said, that this red should seal the frame if it goes and it does and that should be it past the point of no return in this match nine now then probably be okay if we take this pink on actually and we should be able to run through get somewhere on the yellow I'll leave us pretty straight there. So if we come up and down, I think. Might need more power than that, really. But it's going to leave us with a very, very long yellow. But we've got the frame, so it doesn't really matter. All these are just practice shots. That should have been better, obviously. Just the colours to go. This shot should leave us on the cushion for the green. That's a tremendous pot. More or less. Don't think that brown's going to squeeze past the blue, or it does actually. Lovely stuff. Nice positional shot on the blue. 24. 
take a bit of an exhibition shot here to get down to the pink. Kind of. 29. So we've taken this frame pretty comfortably in the end after a really dodgy second frame that was really poor. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Should have a nice finish to this one now on the colours and through in the first event. So we'll be through to the Kapersky Riga Open in a few weeks when that tournament starts. So that's the result we wanted from this. Wasn't the best play, not in the best form. But we'll certainly take the result. And match, Stephen McGuire. And decent break of 42 there. I think that might be my best break, possibly. Certainly the highest break in that game. And a nice finish to finish up on the colours. So, 2-1 victory over Stephen Holworth for the Kapersky Riga Master qualifiers. And that's where we'll leave this first episode. Thanks for watching. In future, just to, you know, if... Um, first of all, I'd love your feedback. Um, if you want to follow the snooker series, if it's something you're interested in. Anything I could do better, would you like me to edit more of the AI play out or more of my awful play, please let me know below. I'd really be interested because I want to make this entertaining enough for people to watch. Um, so that's the, the aim really, but also I just really love playing this game. So I'm probably going to keep recording it regardless. See there, the master starts on July the 26th. And we've got the China Open qualifier next as well. But that will be on the next episode. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these snooker videos. More Switch content on the channel, of course. And uh, leave me comments, as I say, if you don't mind. And I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.